Hello, this is Nadia from the Cognito Forms team, and in this video we're going to learn all about creating a product catalog with your forms. Previously in this series, we created an order form to sell t-shirts in multiple quantities, and then we learned how to offer multiple products including t-shirts as well as posters and buttons. The form we've set up so far works well enough for the number of products that we have, but it could get difficult to manage once we get to say 50 products or even hundreds of products. In this case, we're going to use the lookup field to create a product inventory. The lookup field is a lot like the choice field, in which you can display a lot of options in a format like a drop down or checkboxes. However, the amazing thing about the lookup field is that the list of options is based on entries from other forms. To show you what I mean, I'm going to go back to our forms homepage and create a new form from scratch. This form is going to serve as our product catalog. In the builder, I'm just going to add a text box field labeled product name and a currency field for my prices. Then on the entries page, I'm going to create an entry for each of my products. For this example, I'm just using really basic details like the product name and price, but you can definitely add a lot more information based on your own specific products and inventory. Also, if you already have a product inventory set up in Excel, I highly recommend checking out the Import option under the Actions tab. The Import option allows you to upload a bunch of entry data at once, and it can really save you some time during this step, particularly if you've got a really large inventory. Going back to my order form, I'm going to get rid of the old products choice field and add a lookup field in its place. In the lookup field settings, I'm going to select the product catalog form that we just created. I'm going to set the product name field as the choice label and I'm also going to enable payment on this field and connect that currency field from the catalog form. Next, I'm going to update the conditional logic for the shirt size and color fields since the old products field was deleted. Now when we open the order form, you'll see that the product field is loading a list of products directly from our catalog. This way, if we decide to add or remove products from the catalog, those changes will be updated automatically on our order form. Also, just a helpful hint, uh, if you're editing two forms that are connected with a lookup field, you can actually just open those forms in separate tabs in your web browser and just go back and forth. Now that our product catalog is set up and ready to go, we're going to learn how to set quantity limits on our products. 